the prize pool is a million dollars. Three, two, one, go! And a, a, a quad bit me. That's what happens. Quads, are, uh, they're, they're wild creatures, and you got to treat them with respect. So we were flying, and then began to spin around, and I'm pretty sure that somebody clipped us from behind. The World Drone Pre in Dubai is by far the biggest race meet yet. The total kitty is a million dollars, with the winning team laying claim to 250,000, all stumped up by the United Arab Emirates. Prize money for races is normally at least 10 times less than this. It's a million, that's just unheard of. So this is a ma massive step up. Massive step up. A big purse will bring out the best pilots and the best competition, and that's a lot of what we try and seek out. I race, I race, I live for this. Excited to be here, excited to race some of the top people in the world, um, and excited to be in the team with some of the best pilots in the world. 32 teams of five were invited to race and put up free of charge. Dozens more joined them off their own backs. Teams have travelled from every corner of the world, not just for the prize money, but for the track. We have four, four pilots that will take off from these start, start pods. Um, we do have electronic gates that track all the uh, movements of the quads. But we wanted to set these up because, of course, sometimes when you hit them, you'll see some spectacular crashing. The drones will have to keep right on the spine of the track. If they go to the left or the right, they'll be getting penalties. We're trying to promote innovation, creativity, to push people to have aircraft that fly longer, that fly faster, that have more reliability with the motors and the propellers, to, to push the industry in general. Having it be entertainment is, is a huge plus. It's just cherry on the top. Compared to commercial quadcopters built for photography, these drones are much smaller and lighter. Made to race at up to 100 miles an hour, they're custom made, stripped down for speed, agility and endurance. It's a growing community of tech-loving thrill seekers, young and old, some with jobs, some with kids, some are still in school. I've been in the hobby, in the flying mini quads for like a year and a few months. Fly, build, set up, everything. But for most of them, it's more than just a hobby. Nice lines, Tommy, nice lines. This has got real potential to get big. And I like to see this very similar to the, uh, the Bill Gates people in the 1970s in Silicon Valley and all, sort of that. All, the, all those guys, these, just a bunch of nerds that are, that are playing around. No one really understands what they're doing, but these people that are doing this understand what the future is. For others here, it's an opportunity to grow their business amongst their peers. Paul Kellett, or PK as he's known in quadcopt circles, runs DroneX Labs. As well as running the team, his main business is selling drones. Uh, a year and a half ago there was a dozen decent frames, now there's 40 decent frames. The, the word is, is that we're looking at a four billion dollar industry by 2020. After a full day of qualifying, it's time for the semi-finals. I've been told these gates are made out of metal, so I'm going to see if I can break one. It's completely gone. There's a problem with the station. He flew blind. Going down here, the screen just went to snow, basically. It just jumbled mess, ran into something. I mean, it's just flat. We, you're just looking at squiggly lines. I mean, that's it. As if the course wasn't tough enough, Many also have to battle the new course's technical problems. For some pilots, the race is over. One pilot going through is 15-year-old Luke Bannister. He flies for the Tornado X racing team. Because we wanted to support such a big team, we decided to go and get a sponsor. So we went along and we got Tornado Energy, who were kind of very much into esports, but saw drone racing as a next new kind of big sport. The world of online gaming, with its dramatic rise in viewers, generates more than $700 million a year. With similar first-person viewpoints as a spectator, it's not a bad model. The dominant force in Dubai, the black and yellow of Tornado, is everywhere. They brought 11 teams to maximize their chances of winning. A lot of the, the sponsors are looking at this marketplace 
no one's really ready to quite jump in completely. They wanted to test the water. So the World Drone Prix was like a, a perfect test for this. The final match right now of this championship. Three, two, one, drone. Here we go. It's the final. With Tornado miles out in front, unexpectedly, everything seems lost. The final is marred by more technical obstacles. Even the officials aren't sure who's won. Despite the chaos, Tornado's Luke Bannister comes through to take the trophy. He and his team will take a victory bonus, proving drone racing isn't just for hobbyists anymore, it's entered the big leagues.